All right. So today we're going to be working on the winter beater, Mr. Postman, my 05 Corolla. And what we're doing today is I messed up because I was trying to do I was trying to do a brake fluid flush, but one of the bleeder screws actually broke. It won't let me switch the camera around, but I'll see if I can stick you guys in here. So you see there, it's broken off compared to oh, this side, which still has it. So what I'm doing, what I'm gonna be doing is I got left side and right side wheel cylinders and I'm just gonna replace those because I tried drilling it out but I broke a bit in there and fuck that if I'm gonna be drilling them out all night long and I got my boys here to help me out so uh, hopefully we'll knock this out in an hour or two be real fun also got some of this super DOT 3 fluid that has a dry blowing point of 500 even though it's not exactly a race car but good to have it so because this pinch weld is pretty much just Bondo. Is it? Yep. That's why we're lifting it from this little center point here. So we get both ends up at the same time. Oh, okay. It came off oh like a God. glove. Damn. So this is the inside. And that's what we're trying to take out. Doesn't look too bad. I think the guy wasn't lying when he said he redid the, so uh, the shoes and stuff. Off, eh? Yeah. And then I think there's a spring. Yeah, there's another Might spring. Might not even need to too. take that one off, though. No, we could probably just shimmy it out. I've, mine was way worse than this. Yeah. This looks super easy. <laughs> yeah. Good. Perfect. It's really good shit. Got the old one, and then we got the new one here. So this is the right side. Tim, this is sponsored by Ruskier. Oh, yeah. See, that's messed up though. That just goes to show how good Toyota is. This seal feels just good. like this one pretty yeah. much. This one's a little bit harder, yeah. but this one's still like, ooh. Trust me, it's a good time to be doing that. Squishy anyways. squash. Oh man. Old school. Oh yeah, no problem. Okay, I'm gonna put a. We're just taking off the hard line right now. It's going to spray fluid everywhere, but that's okay because I got the new bottle. Always buy a new bottle of fluid when you're doing a brake job. Hopefully, this comes off. Should we spray some stuff on there? I'm going to spray some more. Yeah, let it soak. I had them so bad before on on Derek's old Jeep that when uh, I went to change them, it just broke. Yeah, it was like twigs, like breaking a stick. Oh and we were driving like that. <laughs> and I was like, oh my God. Man. Yeah, I know that's that so cool. Yeah, that's what got me worried about this, right? Like if it snapped off that easy, imagine how freaking... Uh... Worst comes the worst, I have break on here, so... Oh, yeah. But I don't think it is. For the year, we left that soak for a few. Yeah. It'll be all right. Beauty. Okay, now I'll fucking melt that. Beauty. Old crappy ones out. Just Brand new ones in. Those. Then we gotta reconnect the line. Oh my god. My legs are so shot. I did legs early because I figured that you were coming and I was gonna wait for Terry, but I was like, yeah, should do it early so I'm not in pain later. Yeah, no, I'm in pain. It's all good. There we go. Wow. Reconnect the line now. Just a second. Oh, sorry. Oops, sorry. Back, buddy. <laughs> Actually. Should be good. You know what's good? I don't have any fucking cuts on my hands either. Sweet. That's like the worst thing that you can have doing <laughs> stuff like that. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, we're golden. It's going in. See the happiest thing now? 
I got a little rubber booty. Yeah. I didn't have no booties before. That's probably why it froze. Oh, guaranteed. Hundred <laughs> percent, man. Just exposed to the elements and stuff. Yeah. Especially in the winters. We had a really bad winter last year. Oh fuck yeah. What's going on? I think so. Seems to be. Oh yeah. It's just a long. Now make sure you bring out your torque wrench. Torque her to 150 yeah, inch yeah, pounds. Yeah, 150 inch pounds. <laughs> I think it's going. Uh, I just slammed mine on for the FRS. Oh, did you? Yep. Even the uh, the bracket bolts and stuff. I was just like, God, that Not feels like 70 there. foot pounds. Yeah. I think. It's, I think. Control arms too. I didn't even torque. days later um pretty much what happened is uh after brent got the uh wheel cylinder on that side my camera or my phone decided to uh die so what uh i decided i didn't really want to let the video end like that so this is kind of just like a little bit of a a vlog video now i guess where um, pretty much I just wanted to go over how the car feels after doing that job. So it feels great, like especially now that I know that nothing is uh, broken off or missing from my car. But um, yeah, like we bled the brakes really good. We even bled the clutch, which I'm really happy about. Um, but now, because I got a really good deal, hang on, I got a really good deal, or found a really good deal on a, uh, strut tower brace that I've been looking at for a long time for my FRS. It's the Hotchkiss one that has the, uh, tri-point connection, so it's, like, super stiff, and it's made out of 6061, so it's going to be really light as well, and, um, that guy is meeting me in Hamilton right now so I'm on my way to go get that and I figured I would just do this little bit to kind of bring the video <laughs> to a close <laughs> and um, yeah so we're going there right now and then I don't think I'll be able to do a time lapse because I couldn't find my car phone mount but um, yeah I'll be able to show you guys what it looks like and at least end the video on an actual ending.
because um, I tried to do some go-karting footage, but my GoPro wouldn't let me stick the, the memory card all the way in, so it wouldn't pick it up as storage, and it wouldn't even let me record. So, um, yeah, off we go. So, just finished picking this up, as you can see. It's in really good condition, and oh my god, I thought it would be a lot heavier, because people online say like, oh, the listed weight on the website isn't true. I fully believe that this thing is only like three pounds, man. This is like, stupid light. This probably doesn't even weigh as much as the two bars that are in there right now. If not, only a little bit more, so I'm really happy Especially with the price, it was like significantly less than what you'd find it on for like Amazon or any other part website and like, oh my god, it's just so pretty with all the TIG welds, it's, oh man, and the grey powder coating too, like yeah, it's a little dirty, but it's all there and that's what's important. So yeah, I'm really happy with this. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little uh, mush up vlog style video. There will be a lot more content coming, whether it's Assetto Corsa videos or next season with uh, stage two of the, the track build with Valerie. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed and uh, make sure to subscribe to stay tuned for the next episode.